Hi, this is Gabe from FluentForever.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to install Anki, the flashcard software I use, and then how to create some very simple flashcards. I want to get you familiar with Anki's card creation interface, so that when you're ready to use it to actually learn a language, you're already familiar with how to make a flashcard with sounds and pictures. So, first step. Um, let's open up a new browser window and point it to fluentforever.com slash chapter 2. Even if you're already on that page watching this video, uh, we'll still need a new window, since we're going to be scrolling around this page to find some images and sound files to copy. So go to the File menu, select New Window, you go to File to New Window, and type in fluentforever.com slash chapter 2. The next step, we're going to go download Anki. So head over to ankisrs.net. You can click the link right here and download a copy. It, it, when you click on it, it should open up a new tab. Uh, you'll see the big download button here. Scroll down, it'll say download Anki for Mac, or if you're on a PC, download Anki for Windows or Linux. Um, and, and do that. For the iPhone stuff, we'll cover that later. Uh, for now, you need a desktop to do this. So, so pick your, your, your poison and, and click download. Um, and Anki is going to download wherever your, your browser downloads that. Um, the next step is going to be to open up this file that you've downloaded. Um, on a PC, this will look a little different. Uh, on a PC, you're going to download an installer and double click it and it'll say, you know, to install Anki, click enter, this kind of thing. Um, on a Mac, it's going to install this DMG file, which will take another 20 seconds. Uh, and what you'll do is you will double click it uh, in Firefox, it's going to be up here. In Safari, it's up here, and in Chrome, it's going to be down here. Um, and you will click this arrow if you're in Safari, double click that, and it will open it right up. Poof. Um, on a PC, again, this will look a little different. It will install itself, but on a Mac, you're just going to drag this. You're going to click and drag it and drag it into your Applications folder. I hope that worked. Yes, it did. Okay. Uh, and then you can double click your <laughs> applications folder and you will find, let's move this over here, uh, you will find a copy of, of Anki. I have three copies of Anki because I have lots and lots of copies of Anki. Open up the copy of Anki that you see. Um, this will tell you Anki is an application download from the internet. Is it safe? Uh, you'll say yes, it's safe. Click open. At this point it will ask you to select your language. And so click English generally. Uh, and hit OK. And it'll say, are you sure? It'll say, yes, yes, I'm sure. And so now Anki will be in English. Um, this is generally the window you're going to see when you open up Anki. Start closing some windows in the background so you can see. Um, and all we're going to do at the moment, there's a lot of things going on in this program, but all, all we're going to do at the moment is add a simple flashcard. And so to do that, uh, you're going to move your mouse to the top of the window and click the Add button. And you're going to see this window, which is the window you'll be using to add new flashcards. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on this window, granted. Uh, we're going to ignore most of that. We'll talk about type and deck and all this later. Uh, for the moment, this is a very, very simple, basic, basic, basic flashcard. This is the front side. This is the back side. And so if we wanted to make a really simple flashcard quizzing us on geography, uh, we could do something like, what is the capital of California? question mark, and then the answer will be Sacramento. And so this already is a flashcard. It's going to, on the very front side of this flashcard, it'll say, what's the capital of California? And on the back side, it'll say Sacramento. And if we wanted to, we could just click the Add button, and we would have a flashcard. Uh, but let's spice this up a bit. Let's add some pictures, let's add some sound files, just so we get some experience using Anki to add, I mean, adding pictures to a flashcard in Anki. Um, and so let's go back to uh, this Chapter 2 page. So we're going to click into our browser, uh, or we'll be using this a lot. You can hold down Alt on a PC or Command on a Mac. You hold that down with your thumb, usually your left thumb, and then with another finger, any old finger, you hit the Tab button. And you will find that you can switch applications. Every time you hit the Tab button, it will switch an application, uh, PC or Mac. And so you can switch between Anki and your browser with a keyboard combination, and that is honestly something we're going to be using a lot, so we'll, we'll come back to that soon. Um, but let's add a picture of California to this flashcard. So 
go back to your browser. I'm going to use this command tab thing. Um, and I'm going to scroll down on this chapter 2 page. I'm going to scroll down until I see a picture of California. This is in section 4. Um, and so I want to get this picture onto my flashcard. How do I do that? Well, on a PC you're going to right click. On a Mac, if you have two buttons, you're going to right click, but otherwise you were control click. I'm going to hold down the control button and click. And I'm going to get this menu. And this menu is going to have an option somewhere that says copy image. And that's what I'm going to need. I will, I'm just control clicking on this thing or right clicking on it and selecting copy image. And I will select that. Um, now I'm going to switch back into Anki. Again, I'm going to be using Command Tab, or on a PC, Alt Tab. So I'm going to hold down Command and then press Tab, and then let go of Tab to get into Anki. And I want my picture on the front side of my flashcard. I want it to say, what is the capital of California, and then have a picture of California underneath. And so to go underneath, I'm just going to hit Return. Really, in these windows, I can do whatever I want. I can make things, you know, bold, you know, I can make things italic. Like This is a, a decent text entry interface, um, but I don't need any of that right now. Um, I just want an image a little bit lower than this, and so I'm going to hit return a couple of times. And then I'm going to paste this image. There's two ways you can do this. Uh, you can either right click or on a Mac control click, and you're going to get cut, copy, paste. I'm going to paste, and poof, there's an image of California. Or, note, you can just delete this stuff, just as if it was text. Uh, you can hit on a Mac, Command V. This is the keyboard shortcut for paste. On a PC, that's Control V. Uh, I like the keyboard shortcuts. They go a little bit faster, and every time I can knock off one or two seconds from this process, from any of the sort of technical computer stuff, uh, over the course of thousands of flashcards, I've saved myself a decent amount of time. So mastering the, com ca the, the keyboard shortcuts, I think, is, is worth, worth the time. Uh, and so I will do Command V. And I can paste as many Californias as I want. I will paste one. Um, and that is how you're going to add images to Anki. Basically, you're going to uh, right-click on an image, select Copy Image, switch back into Anki, click where you want that image to go. I can put it right here if I wanted to. I don't want to, though. <laughs> uh, and, and you're done, basically. You just paste it right in there. Um, next step, let's see if we can add a sound file to this flashcard. There's no real reason to do that here, but if you're learning a language, actually sound files become really, really handy, uh, as I talk about in the book. So let's add a sound file to the back side of this flashcard. Let's say that I want to see this picture. What is the capital of California? I want to see a picture of California. And when I look at the back side, I want it to say Sacramento to me out loud. And so I'm going to download a MP3 uh, of Arnold Schwarzenegger saying Sacramento, because that amuses me. So let's switch back into uh, our browser. I'm going to hit Command Tab again. I'm just going to just keep saying this. Uh, and I will scroll down to item 5 on this chapter 2 page, where it says adding a sound file. And I have here uh, a link to a recording of Arnold Schwarzenegger saying Sacramento. And so I'm going to download it. Um, this looks Downloading this looks different in every computer setup and every browser, that they all look fairly different. But um, a relatively foolproof way of doing this is to right-click or on a Mac, Control-click on this link and save the linked file. In this case, I'm going to save the link file to downloads. You can click Save Link File As and save it to your desktop. Just save it somewhere. And so it's going to download. It'll download relatively quickly. Um, and you're going to want to find this file in your browser. In Chrome, you're going to find it on the bottom left, but in Safari and Firefox, you're going to click up here, and you'll see a file here, and it'll say sacramento.mp3. Um, and so we're going to do the most complicated thing we need to do in this whole process. Uh, this is getting a sound file into Anki is, is the most complicated thing you need to do. Uh, it's not crazy complicated, but it is tricky. It can be tricky. Um, the first step is you're going to click and drag this sound file. Uh, ten, drag from the image, not from the text. And so I'm going to now pick up this sound file. I'm holding it in my mouse. Okay. Uh, my next step is I need to drop it into the back side of my flashcard, except that I can't see the back side of my flashcard since my browser window is right in front of it. Uh, and so I need to switch to Anki without letting go of this file. To do that, I'm going to, again, hit Command-Tab. I'm going to hold down Command, I'm going to hit Tab until I see Anki, and then I'm going to let go. 
uh, and on a PC you're going to hold down Alt and then hit Tab until you see the plus sign, uh, the add card window. PC separates Anki from the add card window, Macs don't. Uh, and so I'm going to switch into Anki and then I'm going to drop this sound file onto the back side of my flashcard. Note that if I drop it onto the gray area, nothing is going to happen. And I, I'm just going to waste this whole maneuver. <laughs> I need to make sure that my cursor is right in the white. And if I get my cursor to the white and I let go with my mouse, Sacramento. Arnold's going to say Sacramento, and I'm going to have a sound imported into Anki. That is basically it. Um, those are the three things you need to do. Uh, oh, I guess one last thing is that if I want to make this, this flashcard, I'm going to click Add. And I have now added a flashcard. Um, Again, the, the three computer skills you need, and the three computer skills we really went over in this, in this tutorial, are we need to know how to stick text into boxes, which is basically you click wherever you want, and you type whatever you want. Um, you need to know how to import um, images, how to bring images into Anki. And so the way you do that is you right click on something, or control click, select copy image, switch back into Anki, click where you want it to go, and then hit paste, command V or control V or right click and hit paste. I'm going to hit command V here. Um, and then you need to be able to deal with sound files. So you download them by hitting save link file, you find them in your browser, you click and drag, you switch into Anki using your command tab or alt tab thing, and you drop it where you want it to go. Make sure you drop it in the white. Sacramento. Sacramento. And that's basically it. If you find that it is uh, this alt tab thing is just too complicated, there is a way around that. Um, it's if you have a big enough monitor. Uh, and that is that you have the Anki ad window over here, you have your browser over here, and it lets you drag it directly out right over. Sacramento. That works too. Uh, I suggest you get used to using Alt Tab, however, or Command Tab, uh, because it speeds everything up and it means you're not going to be handicapped if you get onto a laptop or something and you have a small screen. Um, and that is it. That's basically all the computer skills you need to do this. Uh, these skills get a lot, lot easier with practice. And so as you start making your first few flashcards, the first ones are going to be a little tricky. You'll have to be dealing with all this computer stuff. After you've done 5 or 10 or 20, uh, this starts getting really, really second nature. And so um, that's it, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Have fun.